Well, let's hear from Tom, introducing to you maybe some of you for the first time. Tom, how do you uh, how do you fancy this fight? Why you uh, why do you believe that you can do what others have failed to do against Daniel? Because I'm much more than a four day notice man who's coming to pick a paycheck up. My pride, block like said in the last press conference, my pride can't be bought, and we'll see if a boat floats with a few holes in it. Because that's what I'll be doing from very early, tapping him up, drilling them rib cage, drill, drilling that rib cage for him. Take a bit of gas out of him, and I'll drown him slowly. I did buy armbands. I don't know whether that's something. Can you just yeah. just pull that microphone just in front of you? That's it. Sorry, mate. Stop talking forward, Tom. So just talk to the guys. Yeah. yeah so uh, I just uh, I believe that um, there's a lot of hype surrounding surrounding Daniel, um, as they are in a lot of fairy tales and fictional stories. But um, the first real test, I'm going to welcome him to a man's world very short, very shortly and sharply. You, have you sparred him in the past? Uh, we've, done, we've done a couple of rounds, but nothing that you could really, really take anything out of. Sparring stories are sparring stories. Um, Daniel's, a, Daniel's a good good quality kid, but when I say kid, I mean, I mean the word kid, there's a lot to learn. I, I just believe this fight is way too early for Daniel. Um, he's all right against the um, D.L. Joneses and the, the Dorian Darches and the, the whatever taxi driver you want to put in front of him, he's going to, you stand in front of him, he's going to cave your head in. But um, when you put someone with an intelligent boxing brain, with ambition, who ain't coming to lay down, then um, it's going to be a whole different story on fight night. So you're confident you can make him miss where others haven't? I'm confident that I'm going to take him out to deep water and I'm going to drown him very slowly. Daniel, you're going to be taken into deep water and slowly drowned. Thoughts? He's got um, a snorkel. He'll be all right, don't you worry. <laughs> I'm a strong swimmer. Um, <laughs> no, tell us, tell us what you tell us what you think hearing hearing that. In all seriousness. Um, well, I don't, I don't I don't like Tom. I don't dislike him, but um, I'm ready for Saturday. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to do business. And let's, let's go. Do you expect, or are you prepared for this possibly going a great deal further than fights you've had so far? Um, really, uh, I'm just prepared to fight. You know, if it ends in the first or the last, I'm really, I'm really just ready to fight. He's going to try and mess you about, I guess. Um, he can try what he wants. So I'm ready for it. <laughs> Tom. Listen, do you know what? This is, this is painful. But, um, look, there's, I think Daniel knows in his own name, I ain't a superstar. I ain't the one, I've got zero pressure. Zero. I, I want to clarify that, well, when you're a 16 to 1 underdog in a two horse race, that's how much pressure's on me. None. He, he's the one who's got to impress. But when he comes back and he's six rounds down and he's looking for a money shot and I'm going, pong! Boom, boom, and his other head's flying back like, like he's got a nervous twitch. Then we then hopefully um afterwards I'll give him me and him will go out, we'll have a laugh, we'll uh, have a joke, I'll take him to meet some nice ladies and um yeah I'll welcome him to a man's world like a true gentleman. So yeah, that, that's about it. Anything more to say about that, Daniel? Not at all, no. It's been a Saturday. Um, Tom to me looks like a very weak man, to be honest. He's a very weak man, and we'll I'm going to show him Saturday. Man. You're a weak we'll, man. We'll see a weak man. You're weak. You're, I'm, You're nothing. I'm weak. You're nothing. Listen, that's all you've got is strength. Listen, you stand in front of a track. Tra I don't tra care what you are. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. You, you, you don't care. Tom. You'll care very shortly. I oh. can't believe I've got you at all. I can't oh. believe I've got you at all. Honestly, I'm, uh, do I get a pay rise? <laughs> <laughs> like, listen. Never mind weak. It, it don't take power. Power's I'm not talking about irrelevant. Sort of mentally. You're mentally. not strong. You're not strong. You don't have you're a brain, weak. boy. You, you're weak. You, you're first, this is the most people you're sin of you. You're weak. Have, have you got anything else other than weak? Or anything? Just, you're weak. You are a weak man. Oh, I'm right. going to show well, you that on Saturday. Listen, let me tell you something. I've been living in your head for six weeks rent free. Right? You, you can keep doing whatever you're doing. Keep playing however you're playing. Right, you know your career rubbish. is going to lay in front of you like a Lego set, and you're going to think, 
Where did I go? I'm fighting for my own dream. You're fighting for your daddies, right? You're, you're the Michael Jackson of boxing. You're the Michael Jackson of boxing. What is you ain't that a child. You ain't had a childhood. Go to the gym, train, do this, do that. I've and been blessed. Listen, I've listen. been blessed to have a dad that's put me in the gym from a very young age and he's he's looked after me, he's guided me. So don't say nothing about my dad. Listen, it ain't a bad thing. I'm not I'm not disrespecting your father in my go on. one one slightest bit. But what I'm saying is, I've done everything I've done with no help, with no guidance. So when when it gets down tough and it gets down down and dirty, you're gonna have to you'll be looking around like what do I do now? I know what to do now. I I've been there, I I've done it. So listen. You're going, to, you're going to be on your own, no help. No I'm ready advice. for a fight, sir. Listen, we'll see how ready you are. We'll see how ready you are. We'll see how ready you are. You're the superstar. You've got to impress all these lot. I haven't. I don't care about these guys. I don't care about none of them. You'll care very much care about, about none on of Saturday them. None of them. when your eyes are swelled up and your heads. None of them. Listen. Tom, what went wrong when you fought uh, Dorian Dash? Because yeah. uh, uh, Daniel no, got what went wrong? <laughs> he got rid of them in a couple of rounds. You were on the wrong end of a decision. What what what, what went wrong? Well, yeah. a Welsh referee. That's what went wrong. Yeah. Uh, listen, boxing in the away corner. Listen, we're all boxing many. We know if you take a fight, like, I took an educated gamble, and it didn't pay off. Which I've had to take quite a few of those. That's boxing. Um, if you look at it on paper, I don't, I've, I, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. Granted, I've not took boxing as serious as I should have. But let me tell you something. I've screamed and shouted for a chance like this from a very early start. I will not put it to waste. And that is the be all and end all of it. Frank, we've got a proper one. Well, we have. I said it's a step up for, a, for Daniel, but um, I believe in Daniel and he knows that. And I think, uh, I think that he needs these type of fights. He needs these type of press conferences. He needs, that's all about the learning process. He's a, he's a He's a novice as far as professional boxing is concerned in dealing with these things. But in the ring, when he gets in the ring and you watch him, he's one of the, for me, he's one of the most natural, natural heavyweights I've ever seen. And he's the, for, for me, I think he's the best young heavyweight I've seen in my time in boxing at this stage of his career. Now, you know, we're going to see what Tom's got to say about that on the night. But, and as he said, of course there's pressure. There's pressure on both of them. There is pressure because... Tom's bringing his fans, he'll want to do the best for his fans, he won't want to be uh, rolling over. He's coming there and he's, a, as he said, he's a proud man, he'll come to fight. And Daniel will just do what he does naturally. He's, I don't mean it's disrespectful, he's like a boxing machine. He doesn't care about all this, what we're doing now. All he wants to do is fight. He just wants to be in the ring. That's where he'll come alive in the ring on the night. And I think we're going to see a, a good fight because Tom is coming to fight him. And that's going to be good for the fans. But Tom, you refer to Daniel as boxing's answer to Michael Jackson. Can you elaborate on that? What does it mean? So there'll be a thriller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, well, what Frank said. No, listen, what I'm saying is, is what I'm doing, I'm doing for my own ambition. Like, if you've documented Daniel from when he started, it was very well pub. His dad was a massive boxing fan, so it was his dad that got him into boxing. And so when it gets deep, I'll fight for my ambition a lot more than I'd fight for my father's. I'm fighting. I want to be. A, I want to be a, a British heavyweight champion, a world champion. What, what, however far my talent will take me, based on my own ambition. That's why I believe when things get deep, when things get rough, he'll quit. That, and that, that is why, because he ain't fighting for his own ambition, his own dream. I could be wrong. I could, I could be ch sitting here chatting all shit, but that's what I believe. Any response from Dan? No. I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> Any more? No?